Hi everyone, Fernando Perez here. Today in this video, I am taking this time to pray for you to receive a miracle from God. If you are in need of a miracle in any area of your life, then I would ask you to join me in prayer right now. Let's believe God to touch your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And I'm standing with you in Matthew chapter 19 and verse 26. The Bible says, But Jesus looked at them and said, With man this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. Amen? With God, all things are possible. Let's believe God for your situation to change in the name of Jesus. Amen? As I begin to pray with you, I would encourage you to lift up your needs to the Lord, your prayer request, and I'm standing in agreement with you in the name of Jesus. Would you please Pray with me right now. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of your Son, Jesus, today I am taking this time to pray in agreement with my brother and my sister. Your word declares in Matthew chapter 18 and verse 19 that if two of you agree on earth concerning anything that they ask for, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. So, Father God, I'm standing in agreement with my brother, my sister, and we are asking you, Heavenly Father, that you perform a miracle in this person's life. Lord God, whatever it is that they are asking for in prayer at this moment with me, Lord God, as they lift up their prayer request to you, I stand in agreement with them, and I ask you, Lord God, would you release release a miracle in their lives. I know that I am praying with people that they are in desperate need to see a miracle taking place in their families. I know there are people praying for the salvation of their entire family. Lord God, I ask you for those who are in need of a miracle in a family, that you save them, that you deliver them, that you set them free, that you break every assignment of the enemy against their loved ones. I pray, Father God, for a household salvation. I declare in Jesus' mighty name salvation for this family. I ask that you touch each and every one of them and you bring them, Lord God, to the center of your will. Also, Heavenly Father, I pray for those who are in need of a miracle in a marriage. I know that some of them, Lord God, they are in desperate need to see a miracle in a marriage. I pray for marital restoration. I pray that you heal this marriage. Every assignment of the wicked one against this marriage, we declare that shall not prosper. We declare in Jesus' mighty name, Lord God, healing in this marriage. I declare, Heavenly Father, Psalms 34, verse 17 over this marriage. Your word declares the righteous cry out and the Lord hears them and he delivers them from all their troubles. So, Father God, I pray, deliver this family from all these troubles. Deliver this marriage from troubles. I pray, Lord God, that you heal, that you restore this marriage for the glory of your name. Also, I pray for this man, for this woman who are in need of a miracle, Lord God, in the workplace, for those who are in need of a new job, for those who are in need of a financial miracle. Heavenly Father, would you come to this man, to this woman's rescue? Would you touch this situation? Would you perform a miracle in their finances? Father God, I pray for money to come into their hands to take care of their bills, to pay, Lord God, off what they need to pay for. Lord God, I pray provide the needs according to your word in Philippians chapter 4 and verse 19. Your word declares, and my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. And so, Father God, I pray for provision, for supernatural provision to come into their hands, for money to come, Lord God, so that they can take care of their family, so that they can pay all their bills, so they can live well in Jesus' name. Also, I pray, Father God, for this man, for this woman, 
who are in need of a healing. Lord God, I know that I'm praying with people who are in need of mental healing. Some of them, they need physical healing. Some of them, they need emotional healing. Father God, you are our healer. We acknowledge that you are our healer. I pray that you manifest yourself as the great physician. I pray that you heal this man, this woman, mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, every area that they are in need of a miracle in this area. I pray heal them from the top of their head to the very bottom of their feet. Father, God, I pray for healing in the body. I pray for emotional healing. I pray for mental healing. I pray, Father God, that you touch this body because your word declares that our bodies are the temple of the Holy Spirit. And so I pray for supernatural healing to take place in Jesus' mighty name. I rebuke every sickness, infirmity, disease, illness. I rebuke, Lord God, every chronic pain. I rebuke Lord God, every pain in this body, Lord God, those who are in need of a miracle in the mind, I pray that you heal the mind, that you heal the brain, I pray, Father God, touch this man, this woman in the mind, restoring their mind in Jesus' name. Father, I bless my brother, my sister, for those also that need prayer, Lord God, for relationship. I know I am praying with people who are in need of a miracle in relationship. I pray that you bring the right people into their path. I pray that you bring the right man, the right woman into their lives. Father God, I pray that you surround them with godly counsel, with godly people, with people that will speak life into them, people that will help them, people that will be a blessing to their lives. Father God, I pray, remove the wrong people and bring the right people in your precious mighty name, I pray. Also, I pray for those who are single, who are longing to get married. I know that I'm praying with single people that they've been praying for years to get married. Father God, I pray, would you perform a miracle in this man, this woman's life? Would you bring the right man, the right woman into their path? I pray, Father God, that you bless this man and this woman to be able to get married with a godly man, with a godly woman. I declare over every one of them, Proverbs 13 and verse 12, your word declares the hope deferred makes the heart sick, but a dream fulfilled is a tree of life. Father God, I pray that you bless them, that you fulfill the desire of their hearts to get married, to find a godly spouse. Lord God, I call forth the future spouse. I call forth the future husband, the future wife, the person that we are blessing to this man into this woman's life. I declare in Jesus' mighty name the blessings of heaven come to this man, to this woman, today I declare the miracles, the breakthroughs, the signs, the wonders taking place in this man, this woman's life. I pray that you heal them completely, that you set them free, that you raise them up to be a testimony in your hand. I bless every one of them in your precious mighty name. Amen and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My brother, my sister, receive your miracle in the name of Jesus. Receive. The Bible says in Matthew 21 and verse 22, if you believe, you receive whatever you ask for in prayer. Amen. We just prayed. And so believe in your heart that you just received your miracle. Amen. It has been a great honor and a great joy to pray and to stand with you again. If you are blessed by this prayer, would you please take the time to like this video. Also, subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell so you will miss a single video. Amen. I look forward to continue to pray with you. I'll see you in the next video. God bless you and bye for now.